most girls will stop growing height by the age of 15. In other words, most girls will reach their adult height two years after their first menstruation. Most boys will stop growing by the age of 18. Is it possible to continue hate grow for girls after 15 and for boys after 18? Yes, that's possible, but less likely. Hate, mostly determined by genetics, but environmental factors also have its own role. That's why we will discuss seven ways to help hate grow. First, nutrition is the first and most important factor especially intake of proteins such as meat and fish. Because proteins are crucial for tissue growth, they are like building blocks for our muscles and organs. And the most important source of protein is meat. From vitamins and minerals, vitamin D and vitamin A are crucial. Vitamin D is important for bone growth and strength. And vitamin A is important for tissue growth. Most fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins and nutrients. Especially, vitamin A sources are carrots, apricots, and eggs. Second, sugary foods and drinks. Excessive sugar causes insulin spikes in the blood, and insulin inhibits growth hormone secretion, and growth hormone is a key player for hair growth. Therefore, sugar and sweet indirectly inhibit body growth. 3. Exercise and sport. They are important because during physical activity growth hormone is released. Swimming, jogging, running and other aerobic exercises are effective to help hate growth. Stretching exercise also help decompress the spine and improve overall posture and support healthy hate growth. 4. Sleep. It's crucial because growth hormone is released during sleep especially during deep sleep. Engaging in physical activity during the day can improve deep sleep and release of growth hormone. Avoiding caffeine can help improve deep sleep and potentially enhance growth hormone production. 5. Zinc and magnesium. They are important trace elements for enzyme function and support hair growth. Nuts are rich in these minerals. Six. Don't misuse testosterone injections. While testosterone is crucial for starting puberty, its misuse can end growth prematurely by causing growth plates to close. Yes, testosterone injections sometimes are used, but it happens when there is severely delayed puberty in prepubertal boys. 7. Growth hormone injections. But before considering growth hormone injections, tests are important to measure the growth hormone level in the blood. Additionally, X-ray and MRI is needed to determine bone age and whether growth plates in the bone are closed. If growth plates are closed, a person will not gain height even after growth hormone injections. Growth hormone measurement is difficult because it fluctuates during the day and insulin-like growth factor 1 highly correlates with growth hormone level and it's stable. That's why insulin-like growth factor 1 is measured in the blood. If it's normal, it usually means that there is no growth factor deficiency and the problem might be due to nutrition, genetic factor or chronic disease. If insulin-like growth factor 1 is low, it can be a sign of growth hormone deficiency. However, if a person has short stature but normal growth hormone levels, the benefits from growth hormone will be minimal. While growth hormone has many side effects, for example, it can cause diabetes, sometimes can stimulate cancer growth, especially if there is a family history of cancer and it can increase intracranial pressure. And growth hormone injections are expensive and require daily subcutaneous injections, sometimes for several years until the growth plates are closed. Several chronic diseases can also cause growth problems, such as hypothyroidism when there is low thyroid hormone level, celiac disease, 
inflammatory bowel disease and type 1 diabetes. Another important question is whether any supplement can stimulate growth hormone, not directly, but certain amino acids like arginine, lysine, and ornithine may stimulate growth hormone levels, though studies are mixed and results are mixed. Melatonin supplementation can stimulate growth hormone indirectly because they may help sleep and growth hormone is released during sleep. Skipping meals before bedtime may also help increase growth hormone levels because the fasting stimulates growth hormone production. Now, addressing common myths. A common myth is that frequent masturbation affects hate growth. There is no scientific evidence that masturbation can cause hate growth problems. And another common myth is that a person can increase hate until 25. But reality is that most people, especially those with short stature, almost definitely stop growing before age of 18.